now that you have read the prophecies and you've seen the events that were warned by Jesus Christ I want to give you this opportunity to reach out to Christ and ask him to save you we are very close to the second coming of Christ and I'm compelled to come before you and ask you now what is it that would stop you from receiving Jesus Christ this very moment when through this whole process of you reading all the documentation that God warned about you're seeing it happen in the news current events Jesus is showing you and asking you today to believe him and so there is nothing you can do to work yourself into the kingdom of God nothing and just being good enough if you think that you're going to be a good person and they'll get you into heaven you're mistaken and you miss the road the only road to the father's house Jesus said in John 3 3 that you must be born again and that means that when you ask Jesus into your life and ask for forgiveness of the sins your sins that Jesus will physically come in and live in your body and give your soul eternal life with Jesus in the Father's house in heaven and the only way that you could do that is to receive Christ as your Savior that is the only way Jesus said in John 14 6 I am the way the truth and the life and no one come to the Father except through me the road map to the Father's house and the only way to get there is through the blood of the Lamb Jesus Christ who was on the cross for you understand this and Paul writes in Romans in chapter 3 verse 23 for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ and also in Ephesians in chapter 2 verse 8 for by grace you are saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is a gift from God in verse 9 not of works least any man should boast in other words it doesn't matter what you do it's never going to be good enough unless you just receive that free gift from Jesus Christ it's the most precious gift in the world and he wants you to receive this precious gift today and knowing that when you receive this there's a consequence to receiving this free gift and I want you to understand when you accept Jesus Christ and you stand up to tell the world that your Savior is Jesus Christ you're taking a stand for Jesus Christ and that means that the enemy Satan is going to be really upset with the fact that your name was written in the book of life and you need to know that when you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior you're enlisting so to speak in the Christ's army and there's two armies here one from Satan who tries to destroy the works of our Lord Jesus Christ and then there's the other which we receive victory in Christ Jesus when we receive Jesus as our Savior that army is never going to be defeated ever and so I'm asking you today receive Jesus Christ he's drawing you in by giving you all this information that shows you that his word is coming to pass and Jesus said in Matthew 24 33 when you shall see all these things know that it's near even at the doors everything that we're seeing in the prophecies for one generation is already here and so it's urgent and so follow me and do what Christ has led me to do for him here as his representative is I ask you now to bow your head before the Messiah Jesus Christ and ask him to forgive you tell him that your works are no good and the only works that matter are those that came from the cross through Jesus 
And so replace your name with me as we bow because this is the first step into a glorious walk with your Savior Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I, and just say your name, whoever you are, I, for example, Frank Damore, Lord, and you repeat, I read your word, I listened, and I heard your warnings, and I read your warnings, and I know that what you state here, no other person, no other God, could have these things written so far in advance and actually have them come to pass 100%. Lord, I believe in your word, and therefore I believe in your Son, who the Father sent to die for my sins. And I know now, Lord, that you hung on that cross for me specifically, that you would want to keep me from the fiery lake of fire, hell. And Lord, it's by this precious gift that you have placed in front of me to keep me from the fire and to bring me in home in the light in heaven that, Lord, I receive today. I believe you, Lord. I know that you're the Messiah. I believe that you came in the form of a man, that you died for me, you hung on the cross, and just as you said in John 2.19, I believe that what you said, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. And, Lord, I know now that that's exactly what you did. And as the disciples believed, so do I, Lord. And as the disciples were sent out, Lord, after learning with you for over three years, Lord, it's my time now to learn and digest your words so that I may be sent out. Heavenly Father, place my name in your book of life. Save me from my sins. I kneel before you. I bow my head before you and ask you, Heavenly Father, to forgive me and account me as your child in heaven. Help me now, Lord, to study your word. Send me, Father, people that will help me in my, in my walk with you. Show me what, Lord, fellowship I should enter so that I could study with my Christian brothers and my sisters. And help me, Lord, to be ready for that blessed hope that you promised that, Lord, you said that you are going away to prepare a place for us, and that includes me now, that you will come. And, Lord, I do pray as you told us to pray. And, Lord, you said, pray always that you be counted to worthy to be able to escape all the things that are coming to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Lord, let the angels in heaven sing as you tell us in your word, because my name now has been written in your book of life. Thank you, Lord, for dying for me, and thank you for showing me the way to the Father's house. And it's your name now, Lord. And from here on, it will always be your name, Lord, that I pray. Amen. If you've made a commitment to the Lord, please email me, write me, and tell me and if there's anything I can do to help you in your walk with Jesus Christ, I'll be more than happy to help you. God bless all of you, and may the Lord be your guide forever.